35. As we approach our holy God, we realize that we have sinned and come short of his glory. Let us therefore humble confess our sins to him, kneeling and saying together, O God, our Lord judge and merciful Father, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. We acknowledge that we are responsible for our sinfulness. Have mercy upon us, we pray you. And forgive us by the love which you have shown to us, us in Jesus Christ, who for our sake died and rose again. Give us true repentance by the power of your Holy Spirit and enable us to forsake our evil ways and serve you in newness of life. We act this through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto us pardon and remission of all our sins, time for amendment of life, and grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Recognizing that God has forgiven us because Jesus, the Lamb of God, has died for us. Let us adore him, saying, Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. You have dealt well with your servants, O Lord. Blessed are you, O Lord. Your word is a lamp to our feet. Shall we stand? We take the hymn on page 50. Hymn number 9. Faith of our fathers.
seated. Our Bible reading is taken from Joshua chapter 24, beginning at verse 14. Joshua chapter 24, verse 14. Now therefore fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in faithfulness. Put away the gods which your fathers served beyond the river and in Egypt and serve the Lord. If you be unwilling to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods your fathers served in, in the region beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. And the, then the people answered, Far be it from us that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. For he is the Lord our God who brought us and our fathers up from the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage and who did those great signs in our sight and preserved us in all the way that we went and among all the peoples through whom we passed. And the Lord drove out before us all the peoples, the Amorites who lived in the land. Therefore, we also will serve this God, for he is our God. This is the word of the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for bringing us to Barriga to hear from you. Enable us to put into practice all that we have learned through Jesus Christ our Lord. I want to speak on the topic. We will serve the Lord for he is our God. We will serve the Lord for he is our God. From this passage we read, Joshua gathered the elders of Israel and reminded them that the Lord God had done what the Lord God has done for them and to them. And he said to them, Now therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and faithfulness and put away the gods which your fathers served beyond the river and in Egypt and serve the Lord. But if he, he be unwilling to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve. Then the people answered, Far be it from us that we forsake the Lord. Therefore, we also will serve the Lord, for he is our God. We also will serve the Lord, for he is our God. The primate of our church and the leaders of our church have gathered us from all walks of life to gather here in these four days to deliberate, articulate, and eternalize the distinctiveness, the uniqueness of the Anglican heritage and identity. Urging us to maintain and uphold all our, in all our doings our inheritance and identity. The primate, in his address and, and through the great expositors, have brought to bear loud and clear the necessity on us to behold and maintain the Anglican heritage and identity. From the text of this conference, Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 10 said, Paul urged Timothy to observe his teaching, his conduct, his aim in life. The Anglican Church at Church has an aim in life. Part of this aim of the Anglican Church is to uphold and maintain the apostolic tradition and the orthodoxy of the scriptures. This can never be compromised. Joshua in the text we read, Call the elders of Israel to keep to the heritage and the identity they inherited. He called the elders to choose God or the gods. The people chose God. Today, 
There are varying and dangerous heritages and identities flying all around us. Many already infiltrating into our church. Hence the primates and the leaders of the elders of our church have gathered us here to choose who to serve. I sincerity call upon all of us to resolve from this holy assembly as we retire to our homes tomorrow as the elders of Israel did to stand up to defend and maintain the Anglican heritage and identity in time like this where pluralism and the revisionist agenda is holding sway all over and around us. Brethren, I urge us to resolve to serve this Lord, for he is our God. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Shall we stand? Page 36. Let us confess our faith. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried, descended into the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Amen. O oh Lord, show your mercy upon us. O oh Lord, guide and defend our rulers. And do your ministers with righteousness. O Lord, save your people. Give peace in our time, O Lord. O God, make clean our hearts within us. Collect for the day. A certain Sunday after Trinity. Almighty Father. Whose son Jesus Christ has taught us that what we do for the least of our brethren, we do also for him. Give us the way to be servant of others, as he was the servant of all, who gave up his life and died for us, but is alive and lain with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of who stands our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servant, in all assault of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governance to do always with the righteous in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. We are still praying. You can take any prayer position you wish. Oh God, I help in Jesus I hope for years to come. I shout out.
Let us appreciate God for another day. Being the last day of this conference, thank God for what God has been doing from the first day to today. Thank God for all the sermons, all the messages, all the seminars and lectures we have took from Monday to today. Appreciate Him for that. As you're appreciating God, thank Him again for our nation, Nigeria. Many of us thought that this program will no longer hold, but by God's mercy, we are here. Ask God to continue to do his good work in this nation. Touch our leaders to show mercy upon us. Let us pray for the church. Especially Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Remember our primates. Our archbishops and bishops. That God will continue to strengthen them, empower them to fulfill the purpose of calling them. Remember their family too. The hand of God shall always protect their families. Pray for all the clergy and our family and all of our members that our coming year we have fed their life positively. Christian, seek not yet repose. Hear thy guide, the angel say, Thou art in the midst of foes. Watch and pray. Praise a There shall be no unguided hour in your life. In this ministry, there shall be no unguided hour. Any principalities and powers that may rise in any way against you, God will bring them down. Can you pray? The Lord will help you to succeed in this ministry. You cannot be stranded and will never be frustrated. Let it be so in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Almighty God, you have given us grace to bring before you with one accord our common supplications. And you have promised that when two or three are gathered together in your name, you will grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and patience of your servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this one knowledge of your truth and the world to come. The fullness of eternal life. Amen. Let the church say a better amen. Can you clap for Jesus? Clap for Jesus. Our calling. Our mandate. To maintain the heritage, identity, and identity of our church. Lord God. Extinguish every strange and unholy fire and alliances that are filtering into your church. Guard us jealously to uphold the heritage and integrity of this church. Bless us as we continue to serve in your church to the glory of our holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. May the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be and remain with you now and always. We sing from him number 13, page 53, for withdrawal. Page 53, hymn number 13.
The Lord be with you. 